What's up? So, after the other video, I got more taco stuff. So, let's dive into it. All right, so yeah, <clears throat> as you can see, we have a new little unboxing area. Hopefully, this works out. I don't know. We might go back to the desk. But to start out, we have, start off, of course, with frogs. We have the, I got the Tekel Duck Croaker, which is like a popping frog, but it has, it's unboxed. So it's like a popper, but it has this like weird like tassels after it, and then there's a like a little plastic ball with a bead in it for rattling. And this is most of this stuff was well, just impulse buying, so you know. So we have this, and of course the um, Thanksgiving. Edition um, of the scum frog the like the holiday themed ones, I guess That came out so I had to buy one of those Going on to some more <clears throat> finesse stuff we have the I bought some more micro finesse z-man stuff, which is the The larvas right there Actually, let me get them out. All right, so then we have here the little, I think these are the Z-Man Stingers. A little finesse one, I have it on um, you know, the finesse hooks. So we have it right here. It's like a um, swim bait profile, but it has a, um, a long thin tail that's almost like, like that. So we have that, and then we have the Z-Man Larvas, which I, I already bought one of these in the previous video, but it performed really well, so I had to buy some more. And the only problem I've been having with these things is that the tail on these, let me show you, the tail on these is really thin. So after a few fish, the tail might just get completely bitten off or ripped off but other than that it has really good action I really like these baits and then <clears throat> more in the finesse category I got some Kitek swim impact like their swim baits so right there then you can see like they're these very tiny little swim baits that I'll probably put on one of the Z-Man hooks or something like that, like a Ned Rig. And then I also bought some missile jigs, like the Ike's Micro Jig. This is 1 16th. I bought more, more of these because they do really well around here. And I just needed more. And then the last four things I bought was, bought some Guggen, um, Guggen Squad Nuke Punches. And so, these are in Green Pumpkin, which I thought these would be like an ideal jig trailer. But they're basically like the Bandito Bug, but the it's a lot thicker. Like it has, it still has a profile of a Bandito Bug, but minus, obviously minus the appendages on the sides. But it still has like the kicking legs right there. But the body overall is a lot thicker than the um, the Bandito Bugs. So I thought this would be a pretty good jig trailer to try out. Since it is winter and it's becoming not like typical jig season, but that bite's start going to start becoming more crucial. And then I also bought some... Um, Skirting material because of um, some of my frogs. Like I, I found some topwater frogs, so I need to replace the skirts on those. So hopefully these would be adequate enough. And then last but not least, I got two uh, Rapala ripstop jerk baits. And so 
I just wanted some jerk baits, so bought these. So after that, obviously, I got this Taco Warehouse t-shirt for free. So it has like the logo and it's a um, good t-shirt. And then I got that t-shirt and this Taco Warehouse sticker. And the, the reason I bought most of the stuff from Taco Warehouse was because um, they're doing a sale. So of course I had my eye on some um, tackle boxes. So I got some Planos. Like this one is the jig and chatterbait box. I can get this open. There we are. So you have like these little rows that um, you would put the jig head on and it would slide right through here. And I just want to become more organized with my tackle and all that. And that's, I want to have more tackle specific stuff for this. So we have this. And then I bought the, the Plano Frog. Their frog, top water frog tackle box. So for this, they actually have these like little bars that you can take out. And what this is supposed to do is, like say, I have a frog right here that I bought. So then, basically just put the eyelet right there. Just put it right through there and then it'll hang down like that. So then you have a taco box for all your frogs and then they'll, and they'll actually um, dry a lot better. So then I bought that because I have a lot of frogs so I want to have a specific place to store them. And then this is the crankbait one. So again, like most of these, I just want to have more specific storage. I could also put like jerk baits and stuff in there, but like um, this is for like all my crank baits, jerk baits. I'll probably put in here. But it has like these little um, individual like rubber pegs, and then there's like these little um, slots you can see like in the middle, so then you can put your bait. This doesn't get, it. doesn't hook you. Then you can put it. Like right in those and then it'll keep it off the bottom and it'll help it dry a lot easier and a lot better so then last on my attack box buying spree I got the the edge three three thousand seven hundred size and so I wanted a like all these I'll probably put it in my kayak and have that all that stuff but Again, like 99% of the fishing I do is uh, bank fishing, like ponds and stuff like that. And so I wanted to um, have like a tackle box, like a bigger tackle box I could put in there. And I'm debating on doing a, um, a review on the previous one I have right now that I really don't like that much. And that's why I'm getting this one. If you have any thoughts, um, just comment down if you want to see a tackle review. And then I have some more, I have a lot more stuff coming down in the future because of Christmas and all that stuff. So I'll definitely have a lot more videos to post. But thank you for watching and see ya.